Hey, what's up you guys? I'm Sarah Labrat, and in today's writing vlog, that's actually more of like a preptober planning vlog for NaNoWriMo, there are three primary things I wanted to tackle in this video, and that was making a map for the world that the story is going to take place in, starting a Pinterest board for my story, and using that as an idea generating machine, hopefully. And I wanted to try making a character profile because that's something that I've never done. Especially as a pantser, I tend to know very little about my characters before starting, and so so that's what we're gonna be doing today. If you go on to enjoy this video, I would really appreciate it if you could give it a big thumbs up. And now without further ado, let's get into it. Today is October 25th. I have three to four primary things that I want to work on as far as working on planning my story goes before November starts, because currently there are six more days of October. And so there's not much time left before DanaRimo starts, but I still have a couple things that I need to figure out. So while I'm a little under the weather right now, I'm going to sit down and try to build out the map of the world or the cities that I think my story is going to take place in just so that I can have a little bit better of a layout in my mind that will hopefully help me with moving into thinking about characters in the plot. So making a map is first and then over the next several days I'm going to be working on coming up with a playlist for this story because I don't think I have one yet which is minorly concerning but I'm also still not entirely sure what's even going to happen in the story so I don't know where to start with music. So I'm going to start trying to curate some kind of a playlist and then I'm going to start thinking about my characters and potentially doing some character profiles and then trying to figure out a little bit more about the plot. So three to four more items before NaNoWriMo starts. So we're going to start off with working on the map now. Okay, I kind of very roughly sketched out the layout that I think I want, but now I have a second sheet of paper that I'm actually going to try and make a little bit more of an official map. And I think how I'm gonna start this out is actually using the pasta technique that I used to make my Project DE map several, several years ago, which means that I have to go grab some dry pasta. That's um, not how I was expecting it to look. I know that I was using a very round pasta, but um, this is gonna need a lot of help. A lot of help. <laughs> it looks so bad right now. Uh, okay. But again, I just outlined some pasta. Like I wasn't expecting anything amazing, but I will be honest that I was not expecting that. Just look down and now I can't unsee that this is a face or the shaded in area are eyes or sunglasses. The L is a nose and this squiggly thing is a mouth. I can't unsee it. I actually thought it was looking really good before that. And then I, I mean, as far as like a really like rough sketch goes, just to give myself an idea of where stuff is. But now I can't unsee that it's either like a face or it's like a golf ball on a tee. I think this is gonna need a little bit more work before I can unsee that. Okay, I think I have a very, very rough map right now, but it's starting to give me an idea of how like transportation happens and how people get around and the layout of the land and what kind of geographical features there are like lakes and hills and everything along those lines. So this was extremely helpful. Oh, I forgot to box in two areas, but at least that's now gonna give me a really good idea when I start thinking about characters and where the characters are gonna be located and how they're gonna get about. I still don't 100% know about a plot or anything. And earlier, I think I said one of my three to four items that I wanted to work on was a Spotify playlist. I actually think I meant to say Pinterest board, but Spotify playlist and Pinterest board, I think I can kind of lump together just because that's more of like an idea thing that I can reference back to if I'm not really feeling the story or if I need to get back in the headspace, it'll be very easy for me to either pull up the playlist or the board to just kind of remind myself about the story itself. So now that I can very happily say that I have a rough draft of a map done, which is all that I need for right now, and while I was working on that, I actually compiled four songs into a playlist. So now Project CF has its own writing playlist, which is awesome. I don't listen to music when I write, but I like listening to music before I write to get myself back in the headspace. But that now has 
four songs and it is 16 minutes and three seconds long, which I am totally happy with because I was just kind of listening to music as I was working on the map because they are still working on jackhammering outside. So I had to have headphones in while I was doing that. But now that my map is done, that's the first of the three or four things I want to work on. And the second thing is now getting to start on a Pinterest board. And then after that, hopefully I can start thinking about character profiles. I've never actually filled out a character profile, but I think that it would be very helpful for something like NaNoWriMo. So I'm going to give that a shot and then may or may not get into some plot stuff. But I think the extent of the plot work that I'm going to be doing is mostly just writing down the ideas that I have in this notebook while I'm working on the other three things, the map, the Pinterest board slash Spotify playlist, and my character profiles. And so this is going to be sitting next to me and I'm going to keep writing my ideas down in that. I would say that was very productive. I am much more happy with the map than I thought I was going to be. I also came up with a lot more ideas while I was making the map than I thought I was going to. So that's really solid. And now I get to start on a Pinterest board. Nice. That was actually really good. Oh, I do already have a storyboard for this. Yes, I already have 70 pins saved. That's amazing. This must have been from a while ago, but I'm gonna go through this and see what still applies and then look at more ideas and see what looking at Pinterest pictures can spark in my brain as far as more ideas for the story go. And so I'm gonna work on this for a little while and then I'll probably log off for tonight just to like lay low and try to get my cold to go away. But I'm so happy that I already have 70 pins. I am really looking forward to seeing what I already have saved. Today is now October 26th and my playlist is now up to seven songs, which is exciting. It's moving in the right direction. Yesterday I worked on sorting through some pins that I already had saved to a Pinterest board and kind of just cleared it up and removed ones that weren't necessary or that I wasn't feeling right now and just saved them to a different board so that I still have them saved, but not necessarily in this board because I don't know if it, you know, matches and I don't know why the lighting is changing so much outside. Sorry that that just got so washed out. And after I sorted through the pins that I already had, I went and found a couple more. So now I'm sitting at around 90, which I think is a very good spot for right now. But yesterday I also started going through my old document of ideas and it's about 11 pages long. And so I started going through it and highlighting the things that I still think apply to the story because I don't want to get rid of any ideas, but I definitely want to clean it up a little bit. And after I finish highlighting everything, which is one of the things I'm going to work on today, I'm going to reorganize it by color. So all of the green stuff, which is the stuff that I'm highlighting that I think still applies to the story or the story idea, I'm going to move up to the top and then move everything else down so that I still have it, but everything that I think is most current is going to be up at the top and easy to find. It is also definitely official today that I have a cold and have had a cold for the past couple days, so I'm sorry if my voice is a little bit rough, but thankfully today has been very chill on work, so I've just been able to like lounge around and relax, and I did do some cleaning in my apartment as well as hanging up paintings that I have wanted to hang up for a very long time. Not like a really, really long time, but like since I moved in for the past couple weeks, I finally decided where in my apartment I wanted to put them and how I wanted to lay them out. And then this afternoon, I finally got to do that. And so now they're all hung up and I'm very, very excited about that. But now I get to go back to Pinterest and highlighting my ideas in my old document. And then I opened up Pinterest for like five minutes and then my body told me that I wanted to go lay down on the couch. And so I listened to it because I know that I'm not feeling well. And so I went and I laid down on the couch and then I didn't do any other work on CF yesterday. So now today is October 27th. I'm gonna take a short break from work and use that time to finish going over everything else that is in my ideas document for CF and just finish up highlighting what I think still applies and stuff that doesn't apply and then just reorganizing that to make it more make sense for me and to be more helpful for me when NaNoWriMo starts and I start working on this project. I am still under the weather and if you can hear that in my voice, I'm sorry.
Okay, I have now finished going through my random ideas document and I am happy with the amount of green highlighting that I did. I would say I highlighted about half the document, maybe a little bit less, but I think that that's gonna give me a pretty solid framework of previous ideas to incorporate into ideas that I'm now having. I kind of have a gist for a main character, but not really. I kind of have a gist for a little bit of a friend group, but again, not really. That might just be one of those things that I have to pants and experience as I'm writing it. I did come up with a couple world building questions that I want to answer before I start working on this project in November and brought those questions down to the bottom of my document so I can take some time to answer that over the next couple days before November actually starts. The last thing that I had wanted to do in this video was do character profiles and I have still no idea what my characters look like, who they are, um, all I know is their age and that's it. And let me tell you that does not feel like enough information right now. It really does not feel like enough information. Okay, I found a questionnaire online for a character profile. I just found one on the Read Z blog, which I believe is run by Shaylin Wrights. And I didn't pull over every single question from that blog post into my Word document, but I did pull over a bunch of questions and I just went through and I counted how many questions I pulled over and there are 80. Um, that's too many. <laughs> especially considering the fact that I am a pantser almost all the time. Like that is way too many questions. Like this is way more than I would ever know about my character. Like this is probably eight times more than I know about my characters before I start writing something. So I'm not gonna force myself to fill out every single question or anything by any means because that would be way too much. And that would honestly, the fact that there are 80 questions on this list that I chose to pull over is like a little bit stressful right now. And so I think I'm just going to go through and fill it out as I can come up with answers for these questions, but not put any pressure on myself to like fill out this whole thing for a bunch of characters before I start writing. But I think it's more just going to work as I come up with ideas for these characters that I can go through and keep filling out information about them as I learn more about them. But a lot of that is going to be during the month of November, I assume, because right now I seriously don't think I could fill out more than like five of these questions for my main character right at this moment. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to fill out my current ideas for her, but that's it. Like that's it. I'm not going to stress myself out. I'm just going to go through and write out the ideas that I currently have and then not pressure myself to do anything more if I don't feel ready. I think that that's going to be key. Like, don't get me wrong. These are great questions. I am just such a pantser that if I was a plotter, I think I would love this. And I think that as you're writing a story, I think that these are all great questions to keep in mind, but like, oh my gosh, too many questions, far too many questions. Okay. I actually ended up answering 23 of the 80 questions. And that was just in like a 30 minute span of just like scrolling through and answering with ideas that I was coming up with or things that I think I know about this character, which is far more than I thought I was going to be answering. And I even came up with two potential names for a main character. That's super weird for me. I don't know if either of those names will stick or if I will just use them as a placeholder, but for right now, coming up with two potential names and answering 23 of 80 questions about a character profile, that's really cool. That's, again, way more than I thought I was going to be able to answer. I don't really have enough of a grasp on any of the other characters to start a character profile for any of them, but I have like a gist and I think that that's something that I'm just gonna have to work on when I'm pantsing this in November and kind of just getting to explore those characters as I'm writing, which I think will be really fun. And if it's not the main character, I think that that's going to be much easier and much easier to fix or straighten out in later drafts and not necessarily in the first draft. So I'm currently very, very happy with where I'm sitting with how much I know about the story. Oh, I also decided that I'm going to be writing this story in first person, which I have not done since LRF, which is the book that I wrote in high school. So both DE and CBH are in third person. But as I was filling out this character profile, I had an idea. It was, was just like a paragraph long, but I started writing out that paragraph and I just typed in I and I was like, huh, okay, maybe this is first person. 
that's not really something I want to change like part way into this story or anything, but if it changes, it changes. Right now though, I'm kind of leading towards first person, which is kind of cool. I don't know how long I'll feel good about that decision, but right now it seems pretty decent. I also know what the first scene is gonna be. I know where the story is gonna start, which is awesome. And I did kind of have a gist a little bit, but when I was working on filling this out again, I came up with an idea that I'm like, yeah, that's where the story starts. It's enough of a regular day in their life before an inciting incident and then when their lives are changed moving forwards and then I have ideas written down in bullet points about what the first couple of chapters could entail and that's kind of where my ideas for the story currently stop or I don't have any more like I still don't know what the plot is but I know or I feel like I know a lot about the world which I think is crucial for me and I know a somewhat decent amount about my main character which is very surprising but again I'm very happy with where I'm currently sitting kind of shocked at how comfortable I feel with how much information I currently know I don't think I have enough information for more than like 10,000 words right now because I don't know anything about the plot but I know enough to get me to a point where like a plot will need to like be starting or I'll need like conflict or something I hope that makes sense but I have the first part of it, which I think is amazing. I have a random idea for a plot, but I don't know. It's just more of like a what if question. It's not really like sorted out. It's not worked out by any means, but first person, I have the first couple chapters planned out. I know somewhat decent amount about my main character. I even have a potential name or I have two potential names for her. It's cool. This is cool. Is this me? Um, becoming a plotter? I don't think so. I don't think so. But I can't lie that this is going really well. But that does mean that I mapped the city, which is the setting for the story. I made a Pinterest board and a Spotify playlist. And even though it wasn't one of my big three things that I wanted to accomplish, I did go through my ideas document and kind of sorted everything that was in there. And I started working on character profiles. That was the three things I wanted to accomplish in this video. And technically I accomplished more like five. That's pretty cool. I'm very very happy with that amount of progress. I'm getting very excited for Nano. I'm getting excited. I am excited to start exploring this story. I'm excited to learn more about it. So with that, I guess this video is over because I accomplished what I wanted to accomplish, which is really cool. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Sarah Labrad. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you could give it a big thumbs up because it really supports my channel by telling the YouTube algorithm that you liked my video and that someone else might too. It really helps share my channel. It helps my channel get out there. It helps more people find me and it helps grow our writing community. Feel free to leave a comment down below and let me know if you are feeling ready for nano or if you are not yet i was not until today and now i'm feeling a little bit better about it if this is somehow the first video that you're seeing of me and you want to see more like it make sure that you scroll down below and hit that big red subscribe button because i post videos twice a week and i am doing nanorimo this year where i'm going to try and write 50,000 words in a month so if you want to follow my journey make sure you subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video bye